Roman Abramovich was also once Russia's wealthiest man. On March 10th, he was one of seven Russian oligarchs sanctioned by the UK government. Abramovich attempted to sell his massive holdings in the middle of a crackdown on the country's oligarchs. Let's look at his luxurious estate, which includes the world's third largest yacht. In today's video, we will be looking into Roman Abramovich's billionaire lifestyle, as well as how the UK government sanctions have impacted him. Stay tuned. Abramovich tried to sell his assets before being sanctioned, including his $3 billion soccer club, Chelsea FC. Bloomberg estimates his net worth to be $13.5 billion, a $4.1 billion decrease since the beginning of the year. The Russians saw his net wealth peak at $23.5 billion in 2008. Abramovich, 55, is well known for his global collection of super yachts, expensive automobiles, private jets, and mansions. The Wall Street Journal dubbed his worldwide collection of costly possessions the Roman Empire at one point. The billionaire is the largest stakeholder in Evraz, one of the world's major steel manufacturers. He also has an interest in the world's largest refiner of nickel. The majority of Abramovich's immense fortune stems from the sale of Russian state-owned properties following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. He had holdings in businesses such as aviation, oil, and aluminum. He sold a 26% share in Russian carrier Aeroflot to the National Reserve Bank in 2003. In 2005, he sold his 70% ownership in the Russian oil business Sipneft for over $10 billion. He also sold his aluminum holdings for more than $2 billion. Abramovich served as governor of Chukotka, a remote Arctic state, from 2003 until 2008. He invested $1.3 billion of his own money in the region throughout his tenure. Sibneft, the oil firm he owned roughly 70% of, was registered in the region until Abramovich transferred his shares to the state-owned Energy Corporation in 2015. He most recently married Dasha Zhukova, with whom he has two daughters. The pair co-founded Moscow's Garage Museum of Contemporary Art and St. Petersburg's New Holland Island Cultural Complex. After 10 years together, the pair announced their separation in 2017. Abramovich previously had a 16-year marriage to Irina Malandina. He was valued at $18.7 billion at the time of their divorce in 2007. Despite the fact that Russian courts generally award a wife half of her husband's wealth, Malandina settled for $300 million, which was 1.6% of Abramovich's wealth. Except for the fact that it lasted three years, from 1987 to 1990, Nothing is known about Abramovich's first marriage to Olga Yerevna Laitsova. With the West's sanctions against Russia's oligarchs, Abramovich is said to be trying to sell his properties. Following Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine, Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny's faction called Abramovich one of 35 Russians who should face sanctions. Abramovich invested $233 million to purchase London-based Chelsea FC from longtime chairman Ken Bates in 2003. Abramovich is a keen follower of sport and international football, according to a statement released at the time. Abramovich revealed his intention to sell the club in a statement in March. This has never been about business nor money for me, but pure passion for the game and the club, Abramovich stated. He also stated that all net profits from the sale will be donated to individuals affected by Ukraine's war. According to Bloomberg, he's seeking an offer of three billion pounds, or four billion dollars. Abramovich is said to have rejected a 2.5 billion pound, or 3.3 billion dollar bid in late February or early March. Despite the billionaire's particular hurry to sell some of his assets, notably Chelsea Football Club, the sanctions currently prohibit him from negotiating any arrangements to sell the club, and any transactions between Abramovich and UK corporations and citizens are prohibited. According to Forbes, Chelsea FC is the seventh most valuable soccer club in the world. According to Forbes, it was valued at around $3.2 billion in 2021. While the club has millions of followers worldwide, not everyone shares its stance on Ukraine. Chelsea FC issued a divisive statement in February, failing to reference Russia or Abramovich's ownership. The statement on their website said that Ukraine's condition is terrible and shocking. 
Chelsea is praying for everyone in Ukraine and that the entire club is hoping for peace. Chelsea's financial future, however, is currently in jeopardy due to Abramovich's sanctions. Because of the sanctions imposed on him, the club's funds have been blocked, and Chelsea can now only spend roughly $26,000 each game on travel. After experiencing difficulties in renewing his UK visa, Abramovich was given Israeli citizenship in 2018 and traveled to Tel Aviv. Abramovich became the richest person in Israel after relocating to Tel Aviv. Local media claimed in 2020 that the millionaire had spent $57 million on a seafront hotel in Tel Aviv. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, some prominent Israelis, including the head of the Yad Vashim Holocaust Memorial Museum and a top rabbi, asked the United States not to sanction Abramovich. The representatives praised Abramovich's investments, generosity, and assistance to Israel in a letter to the U.S. ambassador. According to the museum's chairman, Abramovich is the museum's second largest private benefactor. According to The Guardian, the mogul owns properties all over the globe, including a $118.4 million mansion in Kensington Palace Gardens in London, dubbed the Billionaire's Row. Abramovich is also one of the billionaires who own residencies in Eaton Square, a private garden estate in London known as Red Square, due to the large number of Russian billionaires who own properties there. Abramovich spent $96 million buying four townhouses on New York City's Upper East Side, intending to combine them into a single mega-mansion. According to municipal property records, Abramovich transferred four of the five houses, all in a row on East 75th Street, to his third ex-wife, Shukova, for nearly $92 million in September 2018 as part of their divorce proceedings. Abramovich isn't only about houses. The billionaire has allegedly spent hundreds of millions of dollars on boats throughout his life. In 2004, Abramovich purchased the superyacht Piloris. It was the world's 11th largest yacht at the time. However, Abramovich's second ex-wife, Melandina, received the yacht as part of their divorce settlement. Before Abramovich was sanctioned on March 10th, the 460-foot superyacht Solaris, which was linked to Abramovich, left a Barcelona shipyard where it had been parked for maintenance since 2021. After leaving the shipyard on March 8th, the $600 million yacht was monitored traveling eastward. Solaris was sighted docked in Montenegro on March 12th. Abramovich later spent approximately $500 million on the Eclipse superyacht. Eclipse, at 533 feet long, was originally the world's largest yacht, but it has since been surpassed by the 590-foot Azam, and subsequently by Rev Ocean, a sleek 600-foot yacht that debuted in 2019. That's a wrap for this video. Will we see more assets of Roman Abramovich being confiscated by governments? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.